does Pitocin or synthetic oxytocin increase the risk of amniotic fluid embolism? It's important to know that the risk factors for amniotic fluid embolism are very, very hard to determine because of how rare it is and then how unpredictable it is. And that makes it very difficult to even study amniotic fluid embolism. Now, some studies have shown an, an association between Pitocin use and amniotic fluid embolism, Pitocin with, uh, with induction of labor in AFE, and then induction of labor in general in AFE. Then other st studies have shown that there is no association with any of those things. The bottom line is that there's nothing that we know of definitive that would alter the course of anything we do during the management of someone's labor and delivery. So if someone says to you or tells you or you hear on social media that X, Y, or Z cause AFE, they don't know. Again, there are no known risk factors for AFE that's going to change how we manage anyone's labor.